So I'm working on my next project, which is a dress. And it's actually a pattern that I made before, Simplicity 9380. So it's this pattern. The first time I made it, I made the view with the hood on the back, which is view C. This time around, I want to make view D. Well, I'm actually in the process of making view D, but I want to make the sleeves from view B. And then also, I am eliminating one of the tiers on the bottom. Because I thought after I made view C, I thought it was just a little bit too long. So this time around, I just decided to lengthen the lower, no, it's the upper ruffle. I lengthened the upper ruffle and left off the lower ruffle, which I did refer to as a tear, but I think they're calling it a ruffle in the pattern. So I picked this fabric up from Hobby Lobby, and it's got like a corduroy kind of texture to it. I really like the color. It's like a brownish orange a little bit. I don't know if that's coming off on the camera or not, but I love it. So I have the skirt. They're calling this like a skirt. So I have this on. It's just gathered around. And yeah, this is where I am so far. So let me show you the last little pieces. I just have I think there are three of these upper ruffle pieces and then I'm going to put those together and gather those and then attach them to the skirt. So I will have a new little dress. Also, I remembered that the first time I made it, the sleeves were a little bit too long. So I ended up taking off a little, I think it was about a half an inch off of the sleeve. So not too much because I didn't want to, you know, overdo it. So. I will definitely be showing you what this looks like on and I came down here to get started because I actually started on this a while ago and then I put it to the side and then I finally decided to go ahead and jump back in so in the meanwhile I'm putting a button in the back I always like to put a little button in the back of my garments to help me figure out which side is the front and which side is the back but I've kind of been thinking that maybe I should just go ahead and buy some labels and then, you know, that would look nice, I think. Because every time I see someone else and they have labels inside of their, you know, sewn garments, I always go, oh, that looks so nice. So I've been really considering getting some labels. Do you all have any recommendations or any type of labels that you like to use that you think you know I could benefit from or that I might like I just think it would be really nice I don't know if I want them personalized or anything like that but just some suggestions of what you may have used or what you like would be pretty cool if you have any so that's what I'm doing so this morning I was on the internet and I was reading this article about fashion rules and these are just rules that you know I guess have been out over the years and one of the first ones of course was no wearing white after Labor Day so I think we all may be familiar with that one and these aren't rules that people necessarily follow. These are just rules that have been out over the years and someone was, you know, kind of writing about them and I thought it was interesting. So I only remember a couple of them. The next one that I remember was not mixing gold and silver jewelry. So I thought that was different. I was like, oh, okay. And then another one was... I thought this was funny. Another one was not wearing socks with sandals. So I thought that was interesting too. So yeah, that article brought back memories because I was thinking about, I remember being in high school and, you know, not wearing white after Labor Day. I can remember that being like a, a real big thing back then. And then I thought about 
a family member that I have that has his own little rule that he likes to follow and he doesn't like to mix brands so like say for example if he's wearing Nike he wants everything to be Nike so if he's wearing like a Nike sweatshirt he's got to have you know his Nike shoes if it's a hat it's got to be a Nike hat like he doesn't believe in mixing like say Nike with Adidas or something you know he has to have everything match and then it got me to thinking about one of my cousins now my cousin has since passed on but one time he came to visit us and we took him out shopping we all went shopping together as a family <laughs> and he bought some jeans and you know how jeans have like thread you know going down the side like to say for example top stitching well he bought some jeans and I think the top stitching was orange or something after he bought the jeans he was on a hunt for an orange top or a top that had orange in it so that it would match the top stitching thread in the jeans I'll never forget that because I had never heard of anybody doing that before and I thought it was so interesting I was like wow that's a thing so anyway, I have my button on and I am just going to go ahead and get started on the rest of this dress. So before I go, I'd like to leave you with a love share. Olympians can register for an OLY. An OLY is just like an MD or a PhD, and it allows Olympians to be able to add the letters OLY after their name in recognition of their status as an Olympian.